Hello friends, in today's video we're going to go over the best builds for beating the 7 star Inteleon Terror Raid event that's been announced for later this week. So kicking off on the 28th of April, which is this Friday as of recording this video, the 7 star Inteleon Terror Raid event will be coming to our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games. In our announcement video we went over that it is an ice type, it'll have all the attributes of a normal 7 star raid, level 100 etc etc, but today we're going to break down and have a closer look at what to expect from this terror raid so to kick us off we can have a look the hp stat for this inteleon it will be level 100 it will have that 30 times multiplier because it is a seven star terror raid so we're looking at around 8430 hp points that we're going to have to hit to knock this thing out it's going to probably have its hidden ability which is sniper which gives an increased boost on any critical hit moves that hit which kind of plays into one of its big signature attacks which is that snipe shot will be level Level 100 it will have the ice terror typing and it does have a base speed of 120 but it is a pretty fast pokemon uh, move options that we're looking at obviously we've mentioned its signature attack which is snipe shot which has an increased chance to critical hit when it lands so that is a big powerful special attack and water type attack then you're going to have things like blizzard which is probably its biggest ice type attacking move and then play off its terror typing as well does have nice coverage in acrobatics and air slash depending on which physical or special attacking stat it wants to go off it won't have an item so acrobatics will be doubled in power so that's something to bear in mind as well uh, air slash will just play off its big special attacking stat which its other moves primarily will be running off it does get access to liquidation as well i am putting it in here as a caveat shadow ball is another option it does get hydro pump chilling water or other special attacking water moves that it could potentially have have dog pulse and sucker punch or the dark coverage that it does get and i've thrown in mud shot as well because i imagine as it is an ice terror type raid steel types are something that you would generally think of to bring to hit this for super effective damage mud shot is its only ground type attack that it does get access to and it does lower the speed of you on your side of the field when you do get hit with it by one stage so that is something to consider at least anyway the set of options that Inteleon gets, I would say Snowscape is definitely something to consider. It could have Rain Dance as well. That is something else to consider. So weather being a prominent setup option for it. Snowscape does give it a boost to its defense stat though. Whenever the snow is on the field, uh, ice types get a boost now with Snowscape active. So that is something I could see coming into play. Definitely like a turn one Snowscape and then an automatic blizzard before we, the terror it even begins. Potential there. It does get access to taunt that will be a bit annoying if we've got set a pokemon it will be able to prevent you from setting up turn one uh, it does get access to light screen and reflect both options i think are something that intellion can really take advantage of base 65 defenses across the board so you can see the screens coming into play does get haze as well because its only setup move is sword stance so is it really going to go down a physical route if it does that is an option of course we've got to keep an eye out for but having access to haze could be something that we do see it play it does have the ability to obviously nullify stats on our side of the field which can occur throughout the raid but it doesn't happen that regularly whereas haze could be something that could be problematic especially for the kind of main set of pokemon that we generally take into these terror raid events anyway now that is the overview of Inteleon this is the expected set that I kind of put together that I really think that we'll probably see something similar to this coming into this terror raid snipe shot I think is a guaranteed blizzard I feel like is a guaranteed almost because it is such a powerful spread attack and it plays off that ice terror typing that it has as well air slash makes sense because it plays off the special attack in stat rather than the physical attack on inteleon you never really know if you look at past terror raid events there is a multitude of mixed attackers so it might not be too far of a stretch to say it will get acrobatics and not the air slash if it does get air slash you're going to have to watch out for flinches because it is going to be probably moving before us most of the time and air slash does have that flinch chance mud shot is what i've stuck on the end just to give a little bit more coverage although it could be something like dog pulse could be something like shadow ball as well that play off that big special attack and stat that it does have access to now the setup options i think we'll see are going to be snowscape because it does like we've mentioned already give that defensive boost to ice type pokemon so it will give itself a defense boost by doing that it also increases the accuracy of blizzard to 100 percent and then light screen is another option that i could see being played here because you've already got the defensive boost you don't need to worry about reflect the light screen makes sense to kind of complement that on a defensive level 
and then the other options are going to be taunt sword stance and his now if it has acrobatics you could maybe see it going down a sword stance route but I really feel like this is going to be a tricky raid and maybe taunt is going to be the option on there or his so they're things to kind of consider going into this one but this is what I expect and it'll be interesting to see what it actually turns out to be when the raid goes live but let me know what your expected set will be down in the comment section below I would love to hear your opinions on what you think this Inteleon will bring when it goes live later this week now with the overview of Inteleon out the way we can hop into game and we can take a look at some of the specific builds that are going to have a good time a good option going into this Inteleon raid later this week I'm going to start off with the most consistent ones I feel are going to be probably good regardless of the Inteleon build itself and how it acts when the terror raid goes live so Vaporeon is definitely top of the list for me it resists the ice type attacks that can come out of you because of its water typing and it has the ability water absorb so it can totally ignore any of those big water type attacks and ignore any factors about critical hits or anything like that it doesn't really care too much about the flying type coverage the dark the ghost or even the ground type coverage that we've mentioned already and it's a pretty well-rounded pokemon to go into this raid and do a very good job we've got the shell bell item on there just as an extra line of recovery water terror typing of course on it and then the move set of aqua ring calm mind acid armor and stored power with an ev spread of 252 special attack and 252 special defense we're primarily expecting this inteleon to carry mostly special attacking moves so that is is the reason behind this investment you could probably go 252 hp but you're getting more out of your stats if you're going for that 252 special defense with the modest nature water absorb the ability on there and the idea behind the move set itself is to aqua ring turn one so you've got that constant line of recovery coming in to keep Vaporeon as healthy as possible then you want to go for your acid armors three of those and then go for three calm mines and then start firing off those stored powers which are going to be boosted up from all of those stack boosts that you have accrued throughout the battle so far and it should be a pretty easy battle with Vaporeon I think it's going to be one of the kind of more consistent ones it might not be super quick but it will be able to get the job done but that is Vaporeon and just to mention as well all the builds that we feature in today's video will be in the description if you want to take a closer look at them for yourself next up is iron hands the formidable iron hands now everyone knows iron hands from six star terror raids and everyone wants to kind of use it but this is a pokemon that i feel will do a good job this coming weekend so when the Inteleon goes live iron hands has that fighting type that is super effective against ice types and the electric typing as well gives it a little bit of a buff against those big flying type attacks that potentially could come out from the Inteleon. I'm not saying it's definitely going to have air slash or acrobatics, but it would make sense for it to have those moves because it has got access to them and it does make it difficult to bring fighting types so freely into this raid. So our terror typing is fighting. We have the citrus berry as the item there because we don't really need to worry about recovery too much. Our EV spread for this iron hands is 252 attack, 252 special defense it already has a sky high hp stat so you don't really need to worry about investing in that and then an adamant nature on it as well we've got the moveset belly drum close combat thunder punch and drain punch now you could take the thunder punch out and put sword stance over there if you feel a bit more confident going into the raid and using that sword stance rather than the belly drum but if you feel confident going into the raid, and it will depend how the Inteleon is set up, but you may be able to get that belly drum off turn one, get the citrus berry recovery, and then just utilize drain punch for the rest of the match. Sword Dance might be a bit more reliable. That's why I mentioned it over the thunder punch there, because you can get that consistently off and you're not losing health by doing that. And if we do see all your stats nullified at some point in the battle, it is difficult to get a second belly drum off. So Sword Dance can be a little bit more reliable. We've got the cork drive ability on there because there's no other option but that is the iron hands and i feel like it's going to be such a good option going into this one like i say the only thing that i would say maybe change out on this set is the sword stance over the thunder punch because it just gives you maybe a little bit more consistency but i feel like the belly drum set could work primarily in a solo mode i wouldn't recommend going online and going for the belly drum it can disrupt other players kind of game plans so this is primarily just for those of you that are wanting to do this solo in game but iron hands a great pick next up is slow king so slow bro has seen a lot of usage and had a lot of success in previous seven star raids and i feel like slow king could have its moment in 
in the sun this coming weekend against Inteleon. It is a water and psychic type Pokemon. We've got the psychic terror typing and then the item leftovers on it. We have the ability Oblivious. In case that Inteleon does have taunt, then this will mean that it can't taunt us and we can still carry on setting up and go from there. Now the EV spread on this Slowking is going to be 252 HP, 252 Special Defense with a modest nature. The four remaining is just in defense. We've got the moveset of Slack Off, Amnesia, Nasty Plot and Stored Power. Running a lot like the Slow Bro where you're going to turn one, go for those Amnesias and then you're going to go for the Nasty Plots. Try and get three of those of each. Recovering using Slack Off when needed and then you can utilize Stored Power. You can interchange change the item from leftovers to something like a life orb even because you've got that slack off recovery there um but the leftovers just gives you a little bit more room in the battle while you are trying to set up and then utilizing the stored power now psychic isn't super effective against ice but once you've got those boosts under your belt you're going to be hitting like an absolute truck and with the defenses here you're going to be able to kind of take a bunch of attacks especially after those amnesias from the Inteleon, and a little bit like the vaporeon just without the water absorb it is going to be a very reliable option going into this Inteleon raid. The only things you're going to really have to watch out for if it does have access to something like Shadow Ball or Dark Pulse or maybe even Sucker Punch that you could have to worry about. But outside of that, I think Slow King is going to be a really nice, consistent option going into this Terror Raid. Next up, we have Magnezone. Magnezone is an electric and steel type Pokemon. It has that steel typing that's going to be super effective against the Inteleon itself. We've got the steel Terror typing there. We've got the Shell Bell item on it as its held item. And the moveset that we've chosen for this Magnezone is Sunny Day. In case we see the Snowscape, in case we see the Rain, Dance, Sunny Day is a nice option to be able to just disrupt those options from the Inteleon and reduce the power of something like Snipe Shot or just take away that defensive boost from the Ice type Inteleon and reduce the accuracy of the Blizzard as well. We've got Light Screen to kind of combine with that so you've got a bit more staying power on the field and then Metal Sound which reduces the special defense of the target Pokemon by two stages. Just remember that when the shield goes up you can't utilize that move so that's going to be a move that you're going to try and use early on in the battle and then flash cannon going to be your main attacking option the ability we've got is analytic because it is a pretty slow pokemon we will be going last most of the time so we're going to get that additional power buff from that ability and then the ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack you could go for something like 252 special defense and 252 special attack if you would want to but this will work just fine with a modest nature so the magnus on there i think a really nice option i'm kind of interested to see how this one works going into this raid but it has got the shell bell item for a line of recovery when you do get set up and you've got the light screen in place but should do a good job against Inteleon. Next up is Coriadon. I do feel like Coriadon could do a really good job against this Inteleon. We'll have to watch out for those big ice type attacks. Of course it is part dragon so it has that weakness there but all in all I think a decent option going into this terror raid. Shell bell is the item. We've got the fighting terror type on the Coriadon so once we are able to terrestrialize we can just max Maximize our damage super effective against that Inteleon. We've got the moveset of Sunny Day, that is obviously we do summon the sun with our ability anyway. But if they do set up the snowscape or the rain dance in the battle, then we can always get our Sunny Day back up just to reduce one the accuracy of that blizzard, like we've already mentioned, and reduce the power of that snipe shot. Screech is there so we can lower the defense on the Inteleon. Bulk up is a way for us to boost our defense. If we're worried about something like acrobatics in particular, and and then we can just get more power out as well by boosting our own attack at the same time. And then Collision Course is the big attacking option that we're going to be using to take down this Inteleon. EV spread we've got is 252 HP, 252 attack with an adamant nature. Again, you can take out the 252 in HP. Put it in special defense if you would prefer, but this should work all right because it is a big box legendary Pokemon and it should do a good job against the Inteleon in a nice option nonetheless with the Shell Bell as the item of choice. Next up is the Aqua Taurus, which is the fighting and water type Taurus. It has the water terror typing on here. We've got the Shell Bell as the item of choice and then a moveset of Rain Dance, Close Combat, Chilling Water and Raging Bull. The main reason we've got Chilling Water on here is if we 
suspect something like acrobatics from the Inteleon, it gives us a way to reduce the attack power of that move even through a shield which is really nice premise of the move set is going to be get our rain dance up and i'm basing a lot of this actual move set off the fact that the inteleon could have snowscape so we can overwrite that snowscape with the rain dance power up our raging ball attack as well and then utilize that to just take it down we've got the anger point ability on this taurus as well because if that snipe shot is fired into us it can trigger the anger point. We can get plus six attack and we can start doing some big damage very quickly. EV spread on this Taurus is 252 HP, 252 special defense with four in attack with an adamant nature. Of course, the thing is, this is an exclusive Pokemon to Pokemon Violet. So you Pokemon Scarlet players will have to find a Violet player to get this Pokemon traded across to you. But this Pokemon is gonna be potentially a nice option going into this raid. Obviously, we'll have to worry about the flying type stabs, but outside of that, it should be able to resist everything pretty well and if you do get hit with a snipe shot and it is a critical hit then your anger point will be able to take full advantage of that and that's the basic premise of this Taurus and why we're utilizing it going into this raid. Now the next Pokemon we're going to talk about is Crabominable but I'm going to give a very big shout out to a good friend of mine Jamie Keen over on Twitter who put this actual build out here. Survives two crit snipe shots, air cutters or even rain boosted snipe shot. Defense is for acrobatics which makes sense we've already mentioned that and you always knock out one inteleon worth of hp per drain punch so you always recover full health which is really nice and then rock smash if not rain dance for extra damage so there's the ev spread here it is a bit more complex than we normally see but 236 hp for attack then we've got 28 in defense and the rest 240 in special defense with a careful nature. But like I say, all of the spreads will be down in the description as well. So you can take a closer look at those. I have adapted the set a little bit more from what Jamie's two moves were, but I think it's a really nice idea with the assault vest and I do really like it. You're only going to have to worry about the acrobatics if it is an option on the Inteleon here. But outside of that, I think you will be fine using this one. We've got the fighting terror type on this. The assault vest is the item just to buff that special defense on the Crobominable. And then we've got a move set of close combat, brick break, rock smash, and drain punch. Drain punch is gonna be your main option to use. The reason I've got brick break on here is because if we do see something like screens from the Inteleon, then brick break gives you an option where you can break the screens and they're no longer gonna be able to support defensively anymore after that move. Close combat gives you a big attacking option as well. If you wanna use something for a bit more power when you are terrestrialized, you've got the close combat to use. Uh, and Rock Smash is just a filler, really. You could use something like Chilling Water there as well, which could be utilized to reduce the attacking stat of the Inteleon. If it does have something like Acrobatics, uh, that would be a nice option over the Rock Smash, but Drain Punch is gonna be primarily your main option. Anger Point is the big importance here for the ability, of course. If you get hit with a crit, like the Snipe Shot, then it will boost your attack to plus six attack. And an EV spread, like we've mentioned, that Jamie outlined, which is that two, three, six HP and the rest. I'll not go through it all now, but it is in the description for you to have a look at. And they are the raw stats that you will see right here. So that you're, if you're building this Crabominable, it should look a lot like this one. We've already mentioned one of the Taurus. We've got the Flame Taurus as well in this build. And this one might not work, but it does have the potential to do some work going into this Inteleon. It obviously has to worry quite a lot about the Snipe Shot or the water type attacks that could come out from the Inteleon. But with its fighting and fire typing, it does have some good attacking presence against this ice type Inteleon. We have the fire terror typing on it. Shell Bell is the item of choice for a line of recovery. And then we have the moveset Sunny Day, Tail Whip, Flare Blitz and Raging Bull. Primarily what we want to be doing is going for the sunny day turn one to overwrite any rain dance, any snowscape, reduces the power of the snipe shot as well or any water typing attacks. Then you've got the tail whip you can take advantage of if you want to lower the defense, but primarily you're going to be utilizing the raging bull once that sun is set. And then you've got that anger point as well, which is the nice selling point for this Taurus where if you've got the sun up and you take a snipe shot critical hit, it boosts your 
attack stat to plus six, and then you're gonna be able to utilize that Raging Bull. It's super effective. It's gonna be powered up in the sun as well, and you're gonna be recovering health back every turn you use it with that Shell Bell. The EV spread for this Taurus, we have like slightly adapted from the last time we saw Taurus in a seven star raid, but 252 attack, 252 special attack on this Taurus with an adamant nature. And there we go. I think the Taurus could actually be quite a good one. Of course, it is an exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, so you Violet players will have to try and find a Scarlet player to trade with, but I think could potentially, depending on how Inteleon comes out in this raid, be a good option as well. And the nice thing about Raging Bull is as well, I didn't mention it with the previous Taurus build, is it does have the added bonus of breaking screens as well. So light screen reflect, if we see those as options on the Inteleon, this Taurus could also be a nice option going into it just for those reasons. Next up is Quaquaval, the starter Pokemon water and fighting type. I do believe this could do a decent job into this raid this weekend and it has the fighting terror type on it. We've given the expert belt item and a move set of Roost, Sword Stance, Chilling Water and Brick Break with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special defense with a careful nature. So the basic premise of this set is to primarily target getting those sword stances of boosting your attack to plus six and then utilizing brick break which is going to be super effective against the inteleon you can then use something like chilling water which we've mentioned before and between brick break and sword stance this could be quite a good option obviously with the water typing as well you're going to resist those snipe shots or any other water type attacks that come out and you're not really going to care too much about the ice type attacks either an interesting one one that i'm looking forward to kind of testing out it should do a good job nonetheless and then we're finishing off today with of course annihilate annihilate being a mainstay in pretty much most of the seven star terror raid events that we've seen throughout this year so no change here we've got the same build that we went in against the typhlosion of course this is a ghost terror typing annihilate with the shell bell as the item of choice there we've got the move set of bulk up screech drain punch and rage fist ev spread of 252 attack 252 special defense with a defiant ability you could change that to inner focus if you want probably a little more viable considering the air slash is an option and it does have that flinch chance if you've got that in a focus you can't be flinched but that is basically the annihilate basically what you want to do is just screech if you get the chance bulk up if you can and then utilize a combination of rage fist range punch gives you a nice way of recovery but rage fist after so many hits is going to be so powered up that you're going to be able to run through this inteleon raid whether or not it's super effective against ice types or not and still shouldn't really have too many issues of course it does need to worry about any flying type coverage coming out of the raid but but all in all, they are the Pokemon builds for this video. And I really feel like Einhans, Vaporeon, Slowking could be the really good ones going into this most consistent. I'm really interested to see how the Crabominal does and then those Taurus builds as well as the Quaquaval. But there's a lot of options here. And between them, you should be able to get some Pokemon that are going to go into these raids and have a very good time against this Inteleon. I don't expect it to be a massively difficult raid this weekend. I think it could be tricky with some of the options that it has access to but I think between all of the Pokemon that we've mentioned and there's a bunch of Pokemon that we haven't even mentioned as well there's things like Goldengo that could be good going into this with that steel typing as well as King Gambit and a few others that I haven't mentioned as well but of course once the event goes live we will cover everything here on the channel I'll do the initial testing and we'll come back with the best solo Pokemon to go into this raid as and when the event goes live but I hope you found today's video useful let me know your best builds or what you're prepping going into this raid for this coming week down below in the comment section i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on all of the builds in today's video as well do leave a like if you found the video useful it really does help the channel and the video itself and if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well so you don't miss anything when it goes live thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye